guys, I hope you're doing really well. This is like a really ad hoc video because Stuart has just taken his lunch break and taken the children out to go splashing in puddles. So I have got like an extra 20 minutes to film today, which is amazing because I was kind of thinking, how am I gonna get a video up for you guys before my upload day? I've tried to stick really hard to my three videos a week, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sundays. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I've started doing afternoon uploads now instead of my normal 7.30 a.m. I don't know, I just felt like people weren't really watching it until the afternoon, but I'd love to know if you prefer the morning uploads. But I asked over on my Instagram recently, Lara Joanna Jarvis, uh, if you had any Q&A, any questions for my no buy year, my low buy year, my budgeting, my house savings, everything kind of finance based. So I thought I would do a quick video answering those questions. Um, I've got them over on my Instagram. I won't put them on the screen just because it takes a lot longer to end, edit. And at the moment, because I've got the children off school and I'm trying to homeschool and just navigate this new normal, I think I just need to try and make sure I can get things done as quickly as possible and turn them around. So I've got lots of questions here. What I really want to do is another Q&A about kind of general life, parenting, holidays, anything other than money. So if you wanted to ask any questions then let me know in the comments. Before we get started, I know we always ask this, but honestly it makes such a huge difference to me if you would like to subscribe to my channel. If you just click the button right down there, if it says it's, if it's red and it says subscribe, it means you're not yet subscribed, it's free to do, and there's a little bell that will come on afterwards and you will be able to click it and you'll get notified when I upload a video because YouTube does have a habit of not telling my subscribers when I have uploaded a video, which we won't go there, but that's happened a lot recently, so thank you for everyone that's telling me uh, that they are not getting notifications. Anyway, shall we hop into the video and answer your questions all about money? Okay, so the first question is, what type of account do you put your house savings in? Is it an ISA? So I, you, I do have an ISA, I helped to buy ISA, and I was going to do a video all about how we are probably going to get rid of that now because I have heard that you can't use it on properties under 250 which means that basically you can't where we live buy a house for that price because we're really close to London and you just can't houses are so so expensive I will do more research into that and then I'll let you know but I do have an ISA um, and I also have premium bonds so that is where we keep our money uh, how do you calculate how much per month you can save? It's easy, we literally take everything that is a non-negotiable, so our rent, our bills, our food shopping, uh, insurances, tax, petrol, anything like that, and we make a note of what that is, and then every month we will budget and say exactly how much is left over, and then we will usually have about 10% extra for kind of if we wanted to add to our food shopping if we wanted to get anything additional uh, if the boys need shoes or if they need like pants or something they may have grown out of that's really all the only things that we buy at the moment we'll have that and then basically everything else goes into savings because we are on like beast mode we're saving really really aggressively at the moment so that's how we how much we calculate it uh what do you guys spend a week on groceries grocery budget tips so i did a video two videos before lockdown which were aldi videos which were uh one was 35 pound for a week of meals for four and one was 40 pounds and uh, i have to say since being on lockdown and not being able to get hold of any food our grocery bill is through the roof and it is awful because I'm like this is so much money and we are not saving what we could be saving because we're having to spend it on food so we don't really have a choice at the moment in terms of our budget of our groceries because it's kind of dictated to us food shopping is crazy expensive at the moment but once we go back out and we can go shopping again to Aldi I am gonna try and get it still for 40 pounds a week uh, but at the moment yeah it's crazy money and if you're the same then I feel for you because it feels like we don't really have a choice at the moment to be able to shop affordably. Meal plan and batch cooking so I did a video which was our store cupboard meal ideas this week that was all of like the food that we've just got in the cupboards that we can make food out of. I'll probably do another video which will be like batch cooking. Meal plan, meal plan, meal plan and try and use what's in your cupboards and shop your fridge because often we think we haven't got any food but there is food in there but I do agree with you food shopping is so expensive at the moment and it's really really hard to stick to a budget okay the next one do you and Stu save in a joint account so we have a joint account where all of the bills come out of 
but I don't use it, so I wouldn't ever spend that money in there. And then we have our own bank accounts where we spend on anything that we do buy, which isn't obviously a lot at all. Does that answer it? So we have a joint account. I don't use it, <laughs> basically. I don't know why we have it. Okay, would you do another no buy year? I probably wouldn't do a year. Um, I'm doing my low buy year now, and I do feel like my habits that I built and my toolkit that I built up within that year has really helped me this year. Uh, but I would do you no know, by months because I think that's really important to help you like really scale it back and like really adjust your spending and they encourage you to keep going and they're great at the end of it because you can see what you've built up. But for me, I don't think I would do a no by year because I don't really think I spend enough to do that. I think I needed to do it to keep my habits, to like kick my habits and get them sorted. But now that I'm kind of much uh, more mindful in my spending and I know how much you like, waste on things, I don't really need to do it again. I actually was gonna do it this month in April, but it's the boys' birthday in May and they share a birthday. If you don't know that, that's our little fact. Uh, they share a birthday, so it's quite like we're buying their presents and I wanna make it a little bit special for them here. So I've not done it, but I probably will do it in June if we're still on lockdown. Do you save a certain percentage of your income or just budget week to week? Yeah, so did I answer that already? No, not a certain percentage for us, it's just basically everything. Uh, but that would really work if you if you had an income that you knew was coming in every month, it would really work to do a percentage. How do you stop yourself from spontaneously spending? I can't stop in lockdown. This is one of those huge issues that people are finding, and I did mention this in one of my vlogs recently, that it's so hard to, like people's, Basically, you need to address the reasons why you spend. So if it's through anxiety or boredom or frustration or worry or excitement, you know, you might have an event coming out and you buy something for it, then you once you kind of address why you're doing it, it's a lot easier to stop yourself from doing it. I think delete all your passwords on Amazon and ASOS and Topshop and wh whichever other companies are delivering because like having to go and get your credit card or whatever is gonna be a lot harder or more effort, so you may well find yourself not doing it. But I do think really trying to figure out why you're doing it, if it's because you're feeling anxious and you just go and buy something and that like quick feeling isn't actually going to really make a big difference. Even once it arrives, you kind of pass that point of that like quick hit as it were. Try and do it as a challenge and it might help you actually really stop doing it. I think like if I said to myself right, I couldn't eat chocolate for a month and I set it as a challenge I would do it whereas because I haven't set that I'm basically 90% chocolate at the moment. <laughs> what do you think of debt management plans through charities like Step Change? I don't know what that is sorry I'd have to look into that but debt management plans are very good for people that need to manage their debt <laughs> that haven't really got like an education around it. We've used one in the past it's all been paid off but that was a long, long term thing. Uh, but I don't know what step change is, sorry. Which one do you prefer more, a no by year or a low by year? I think a no by year is easier to stick to. And I know that sounds a bit weird, but I think it seems a bit easier to stick to. I'm gonna put you down a bit because you're a bit high up. I think a no by year is a bit easier to stick to because it's more of a challenge. Like I said, I respond well to challenges and like having to do it. Whereas low by year, you can really slip now and again. And I have spoken about that and how it feels, but I prefer low by year now because my habits have changed so much. But I do think if you're doing it from like where I was to begin with, which was like pretty much a shopaholic, you probably would be good going cold turkey and going around it that way. In the long run, I hope I'm making sense. Oh, hold on, I only got one of those, so I don't know what the first bit of that question was. Jay, that was you, sorry. I don't know what your question was. It just is, in the long run, I hope I'm making sense. And I didn't get the first part. What would you recommend to the get the best savings, interest on your savings? I'm not a financial expert, so I can't give that kind of advice. We personally find that bonds are the best way of getting interest. When we had our money in a savings account, we got very, very, very little. And now, for example, last month we got £100 in um, bonds. So that gets reinvested straight away. So that's like one month, £100. Usually it's more like £25 to £50, but I'd never get that much interest on a normal account. So look into it yourself, but we really like bonds. How do you travel on a budget? Or is that one thing you wouldn't cut corners for? This is a really, really good question. So I was doing a live earlier. Did I mention that? And I was saying to, to her on the live that 
we choose to spend our money on travel because it enriches our lives it gives the children experiences and you know people might want special cars like fast cars or designer clothes or getting treatments all the time or they're going on luxury holidays we choose to spend our money on travel and we do it on a budget so for example if we were doing an american road trip we would stay in a motel every night we would eat the free breakfast and like sneak enough away to have that for lunch and um, we would eat supermarket food in our room at night that's how we do budget travel because we then know that we can get like two more weeks worth of travel because we're not spending that money on like living this luxury lifestyle while we're on holiday having said that I would absolutely adore to do like a luxury holiday with Stu and the boys for our wedding anniversary which is 10 years next year or the year after and I would love and I think it's next year and I would love to do that because we've never ever done it that's like our choice and like why we save why we aggressively save our money obviously for the house as well I've actually done a whole video on how we travel on a budget so I can leave that link down in the description bar but it's all of our like tips and tricks for how we do it really really cheaply and yeah when I see kind of how much it costs to go to an all-inclusive in Ibiza for a week and I'm like <laughs> We could literally travel for three weeks around America on that money and see all these amazing places and that's like what we decide to do and what we choose to do so each to their own whatever you prefer but that's just how we do it on a budget although I would love a lovely resort holiday soon that's like definitely I, to be honest I take any holiday at the moment with this lockdown that we're in are you using help to buy ISA or Lisa for your house savings so Lisa's weren't around when we set up our help to buy ISA Lisa's are really good if you're younger and you're not going to be buying a house in like the not too distant future you can save really really well on them and we would change it if it wasn't for the fact that we were hopefully going to buy like now so um we use an isa helped by isa how do you budget if you don't have a regular income i think i've kind of probably answered that one already we put everything that's non-negotiables on a list and that's what we have to spend and then everything that's extra we basically save so we'll always have that emergency fund in the bank if we need it uh, when you say no buy what did you buy obviously bills and food yeah so with us no buy was for me no clothes no makeup no skincare no um shoes no like amazon purchases no like nothing like that so for us it was the essentials which were children's clothes because they grow all the time <laughs> georgie always has hand-me-downs but henry's just like growing like a whatever they say <laughs> he's growing so much so he needs clothes uh school shoes uh, things like sun cream i think for us like because we don't ever go out we would buy wine so we'd have that at home or we'd buy a nice dinner for us we like entertaining like or eating at home so we would buy nice food and nice drink for that because we're not actually ever going out for a meal so that's the kind of thing oh that was another thing we'd never go out to eat we'd never have coffees that kind of thing anyway guys i'm gonna get going because that is like the most long q a ever but please let me know if you have any non-money related questions because i'd love to do another video for you like this and keep an eye out on my instagram for more lives if you've got any people that you'd like me to do a live with then let me know because i'm into it now i've just done my very first one and it went really well and i'd love to do more anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you very soon take care bye